In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a circular options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first circle comes, this is the 3D circle uh, with the icon and you can add the title and the detailed text here. And it is connected with a line. And then when I click, it will come with a different color combination. The option two you can see here is the transparent and then the shadow effect also I have created and then a different icon with the title and the detailed text. Then comes the third option. You can see here the fourth with some different color combination. Fifth, you can see here sixth, seventh and the last will be eight. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the uh, the options so maybe you can make it four five six whatever so depending on the requirement and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the old shape draw the old shape by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect circle and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size then shape outline make it no outline and now i'm going to give them the 3d look for that right mouse click go to format shape go to the effects and you can see here the 3d rotation i'm going to select the presets and from the parallel i'm going to select this one which is off axis to top select that one and then you can go to 3d format and you can see the depth here just increase the depth according to the requirement maybe i can just put maybe 13 and then i'm just going to bring it down and then whichever color of your choice you can just change it okay whichever color you feel better you can just choose the color and once this is done now i'm going to duplicate maybe six or seven times depending on my requirement so before duplicating what i'm going to do i'm just going to give some uh you can see here go to the fill i'm going to give some transparency effect let me just increase the transparency maybe 15 or 16 percent and then let me just duplicate by pressing ctrl d you can see here uh, there's some uh, transparency is there you can see the other object also within this so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste it here something like this and then I just need to rotate it so for, go to the effects and go to the 3d rotation you can see here the x rotation y rotation and z rotation so for example if I use you can see here z rotation so depending on my requirement I can just I can just put maybe this much size here okay make sure that it is aligned properly and again if you want to reduce you can just reduce also here so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease it now I'm going to duplicate this press ctrl D to duplicate let me just change the color to some other color all right now I'm going to rotate it the other side you can see here something like this I can just rotate it and then I'm just going to put it here so depending on the requirement you can just increase or decrease maybe I'm just going to make it maybe this much and then what I'm going to do I'm going to select the second one press ctrl D and I'm going to paste it here again make sure that it is properly aligned select the third one press ctrl D and again this one comes here press ctrl D you can see here so one two three four five six i have added so if you want you can make it eight also and i'm going to select all and then just bring it somewhat down let me just select all and bring it down okay and then i'm just going to select the colors of my choice you can see here any color which you feel better you can just choose it and here i'm going to choose maybe something different color maybe this so you can see here now if you want to add some shadow effect also you can add go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape again draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black 
increase the transparency level maybe 50 or 60 percent then go to the effects soft adjust you can just increase it you can see here and then let me just increase the transparency maybe 70 percent and i'm just going to bring it here okay and then just send this to back okay so you can see here it is now press ctrl d to duplicate i'm bringing it here you can see here again send back again press ctrl d so like this you can just add the shadow effect you can see here one by one i'm just adding the shadow effect and the last one i'm selecting here and then just send back okay now if you want you can add some options a b c d or one two three four or if you want you can add some icons also you can go to insert icons again choose a good choice of icons depending on your requirement so i'm just choosing some icons some random icons i'm just choosing this is four and maybe i'm just going to choose this as well as this so six icons bring the other side height make it 0.5 and the width also same and one by one i'm just going to select and i'm going to put it here you can see here you can see something like this all right now uh, we have done this design now it's time to add the detailed text so let me just insert one shape here i can you can see here i'm going to select the rectangle rounded corner this one for this make it fully rounded or fully curved shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give the same color so i'm going to use maybe eyedropper and i'm going to just choose this color you can see here and press ctrl d this is for this and change the color okay press ctrl d and bring it the other side and make sure that it is properly aligned again ctrl d i'm going to add it here again change the color and for this also i'm going to change the color ctrl d and then this goes for this again align it and here ctrl d this will be for this one and change the color something like this you can see here and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add the text so before adding the text let me just connect this one go to insert shapes from the lines you can select the freeform shape you can see here i'm just going to click here once one more click and then one more click here double click here you can see here you can shape outline you can give a light color okay or you can just duplicate this or you can just simply you can just come here and do like this and let me just add here also and then let me add the right side so this is for this let me just go to insert lines freeform shape and this is the last one you can see here something like this okay now uh, once this is done you can just add the title here i'm going to say your title press ctrl d to duplicate add the title one after the other and here also i'm just going to add it press ctrl d yes and if required you can just add some detailed text here okay so let me just reduce the size maybe right align you can add your detailed text one by one just ctrl d duplicate and 
add to the right side left align you can see here yes so with this we have completed the design and if you want you can add simple uh, fly in animation effects so you can just go here you can just go to the animations enable the animation pane and then you can just say fly in you can see here let me just select for this fly in instead of coming from the bottom you can make it from the top also you can see here it comes something like this and this shadow effect i can just make it maybe fade and this should happen after previous so likewise we can just add the same animation effect for the rest of the options